You know, we've all heard about our evolutionary fight or flight responses that prompt people to act first and think later. When people feel afraid, they get kind of a tunnel vision that results in hyper focus on the fight or flight response and very little focus on everything else. In education, this can be really bad as it can lead many teachers to be laser focused on what they need to do to avoid punishment and very little focus on everything else. Yeah, and under these conditions, teachers, like everybody else in any industry, will typically do just enough to get by. Just like when you're driving on the highway and tend to drive just fast enough to avoid a ticket, and usually only in the presence of the person who will provide the ticket. The, the cop. cop. Mm -hmm. This fear squashes desire and performance and leaves much of the teacher's repertoire and creativity untapped. And the ripple effect? across the school district can be devastating. I've personally seen this manifest itself in boxing and mixed martial arts. When a fighter feels unsafe, they will either become very defensive and fail to access their toolbox of offensive weapons, or they will begin throwing wild haymakers, end up spending all of their energy, and ultimately lose the fight. Mm. However, when their defense is solid, it is absolutely amazing to witness not only the acceleration of their offensive performance, but their creativity as well. Yeah, and we've had the amazing experience of observing, learning from, and consulting with hundreds of educational leaders over the past two decades. And we've personally reaped the benefits of organizations with high morale and strong camaraderie, and suffered along with our colleagues and organizations where it was short. Mm -hmm. In education, this has had and continues to have a terrible impact on teacher performance and the resulting student achievement. And by many accounts, teachers end up leaving schools because they don't feel safe. More specifically, most claim they leave the profession because of the pressures related to both leadership and student behavior. A leading indicator of a lack of psychological safety across these schools is low morale, which can be easily measured through a variety of social validity surveys. Unfortunately, these types of surveys seem to be given at the end of the year, which is akin to an autopsy. Psychological safety is a very real thing, and chronic discipline issues can quickly erode it. If you are a district or a school leader, behavior analyst, or just somebody who is interested in finding out how leaders can improve discipline and increase both teacher and student psychological safety in schools, please join us in a cast of veteran leaders, attorneys, and behavior analysts on February 28th in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. And if you can't make it in person, you can participate via webinar. Just click on the link below to sign up today. I'm Dr. Polly. And I'm Anika. And we hope to see you so soon in Orlando.